I'm just a very weird, awkward, nervous person all the time. So I find comfort in ending conversations with certain verbal tics, I guess, you know, or sometimes physical tics, and one manifested. Uh, and it was just like, I would say instead of okay or cool or hi, just Gucci. I started doing it because it was, I could tell it embarrassed her for me to do it. <laughs> and then everyone on set did it and to the point where it was like gaffers being like, is this Gucci? When I was writing it, I was sort of coming to terms with the fact that I had anxiety and I was putting a name on it. In the way it's personal, it's about my current experience much more than my 13-year-old experience. Um, I sort of look at the world and go, and the culture and go like, what is happening? You know? And I was able to just, with someone else, say, do you know what's happening? And then we can kind of both look and, <laughs> and shrug out into the universe. A lot of stories made, at least for this age, are you know very big, like Harry Potter or something, where people think it's escapism for the kids. I actually think it's realism for the kids because it feels like walking over across the hallway and talking to your crush feels literally like going to slay a big snake dragon or something. Um, so a lot of these movies about you know kids dying or I love you but I have lupus or whatever the movies are, you know what I mean? And it's like they have to be so big to make the kids, you know, to 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 make the emotions of a kid feel true. It was like, can you, can you portray, can you sink the audience's heart rate in hers? Because if that's happening, it doesn't matter what the situations are like. It doesn't matter if in theory that situation is very small and s silly. Kayla's experience is very reflective of my own because I think this is a good portrayal of like what the internet is. It's not always smiles or obsessing on emojis. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, It's its own thing. Yeah. It's not bad or good. It's both. That's at least my experience with it. Yeah, I would um, say like the things about the internet that are targeted towards kids that try to portray the internet feel to me like a McDonald's commercial where it's like, I'll have a Big Mac. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh my God. I mean, it's like so yeah. pandery and, yeah. and tone deaf. People that speak with like authority on the internet often to me are dusty, dusty people that have no <laughs> idea what the internet is. I mean, the more you engage the internet, I think the more ambivalent it becomes. It gives us great social movements and the country's on fire, you know what I mean? This is like a really good portrayal of the highs and lows because like Kayla feels good about herself making her videos, you know, almost as like a coping mechanism for her anxiety um, and like expressing herself. Um, and that's like a high of it. And then she's like, you know, kind of like looking at all the other people doing crazy cool stuff in real life. And that, you know, makes her feel not so good. I trusted her so much. Her performance was so rock solid in the center that it actually allowed me to attend to the world around her. Because so much of the story is about this kid moving through space and moving through these different environments. So because I was able to trust that she was going to, she was delivering, I could work on the kids around her and the world around her to make that vivid. So that was hugely beneficial. The, the kids were across the board unbelievable. We had a couple of specific scenes. He kind of had uh, me run through. Um, you know, and kind of improv it a little. And yeah, it was just a really fun time. Like, for auditions, that was really, really fun. I mean, I tested her three or four times, but I never saw another actor more than once. I remember writing it for her, but <laughs> I didn't, because I wrote it two years before I met her. But um, yeah, I can't believe we were going to make this movie before we found her. I stumbled on a video of her at some brown carpet event <laughs> talking about, like, cupcakes or something, I don't know. But she was incredible and like immediately very close to what I felt could be right for the role. I didn't know if she could act, but I hope she could. And she was like my favorite before I met her. And then I met her and she auditioned and she really, really can act. A lot of the co collaboration was in inferring things um, from her performance and, and having it, because you know, she, she's not, eventually you were able to stand up and say, this isn't right or this doesn't ring true. <laughs> yeah. But, it, but it, was, it was moment to moment rather than big giant ideas of things. It was just like kind of, I mean, feeling it out and yeah. really knowing what felt right to like who I am, I guess. Yeah. You know, as this nerdy 14 year old slash 13 year old kid. Yeah.